everybody, well, welcome back to the channel. And as you can tell, I'm on an airplane. We are about to take off and head to Vegas to go hang out with Drew at the NASCAR truck race. So you can see I've got my, got my seat here right behind the wing. A little stormy in Dallas. Flew out of Tampa this morning because we flew out of Tampa because the idea is that on Saturday, we land back in Tampa and I can still make it to the Danger Ranger race at the Freedom Factory Saturday night. Well, here we go. Tablets and chargers. Once you do go up the aircraft, you know, I'm going to make sure you have all your belongings at this time. So when you open the overnight compartment, please be careful that I have moved in flight. Take you guys along for a little bit of my adventure. We'll be entering at All right, well, y'all excuse me for just a second while I do some touristy stuff. And, you know, I'm a Ocean's Eleven fan, as well as all the movies, the Ocean's movies. And the Bellagio fountain scene makes it into the movie, so I had to go check this out. It's a pretty awesome show, and it was a different show every 15 minutes. But, of course, the audio got copyrighted, so I had to add this voiceover in. But definitely a cool thing to check out, as well as, as a lot of other things in Vegas that were really, really cool to check out. But i got to say, I think the fountains were probably the most impressive to me. Just the timing and all of the artwork of them all. So anyways, let's see if we can get onto the racetrack and uh, go watch some racing. All right, y'all, well, I hope you can hear me. It feels like it's blowing about 30 miles an hour, just constant here. And uh, we've made it to the track. Just getting to where we gotta go get our credentials. Uh, this place is pretty epic with all the mountains in the background. We got snow over there on those mountains. Kind of did some stuff down the touristy stuff in, in Vegas this morning. We're getting here, we're probably gonna miss practice, but uh, the truck Drew's working on this weekend, well, his driver is Kyle Busch. So I'll admit, I wasn't always a huge fan of Kyle Busch, but as he's gotten a little older and become a dad, he's kind of mellowed out a little bit, I feel like. And I've always respected his driving skills because the guy can flat out drive. But his brother had to wreck me to win a race. We can't ever forget that. So anyways, we're going to try and get into the track. Like I said, hopefully you can hear me. All right, it's been a long walk since the last little clip. We had to find the NASCAR credential area, which was not where we originally were. I still don't know if you can hear me because the wind is literally blowing 25 to 35 miles an hour yeah oh well though I'm trying to go watch the racing right behind pit road looking for the number seven truck i did not look up who the sponsor was um but obviously we don't want to bug bug drew i guess we could walk and see if they've already qualified but i would think they let the points guys qualify first i don't know how it works i really don't so we'll go peek around see if we can find drew and then uh Turn the camera back on. All right, well, Drew's truck's up to qualify with Kyle Busch driving. There's Drew right there in the back corner.
the trucks end up here and impound afterwards. So maybe once their qualifying run is done, we'll go over and see them, uh, see them there. So they get one out lap, one qualifying lap. That's it. So it's time to put up or shut up. fourth so it updated that quick all right so Kyle Busch fourth yeah, cool hello hi Drew how we doing good how are you high five dude y'all on the pole no, no, no. well your team truck on the team pole truck on the pole yeah those I, are my boys those, those are, are your boys yeah. well you were with Raja last year right right Raja. half okay. of that team moved over to the 71 so cool so yeah those are my boys. cool cool Kyle. Yeah, they needed what, that. Kyle's fourth? Yeah, okay. fourth. Cool, that's cool. Good. That's good. Yeah, this is uh, Kyle's home track. You know, he's from Vegas, so he's going, he's going to do pretty good. Are you yeah. getting interviewed right Yeah, now? I am. Yeah. Screw oh, off. my God. I've seen him on YouTube before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm famous. Don't you know? I'm famous. Definitely, definitely those are first guys. <laughs> that's, it's fun turning the tables yeah, on you. <laughs> yeah, these are the guys that are on the 71. They love screwing with me. Uh -huh. Can you get out of here? Can I have your autograph? Yeah, he was uh, my hotel buddy last year. That's Peter. Uh, okay. He's cool. He's, he's all right. Don't tell him I said that. Okay. Well, is it, we'll see if it makes it on the video or not. Okay. So what do y'all got to do now? Tell us about what this... Okay. Like, Let me get this thing off my head. Some kind of impound or something? Yeah, I probably shouldn't be in here right now, honestly. They they kick us out pretty quick. Oh. Because uh, people, oh, like, other to, people, still people like to touch things when they're not supposed to. Oh. So, uh, but yeah. So uh, we just qualified. Okay. So now we're in the impound. So we hook up just an oil heater. We forgot to hook up the oil heater. I should probably do that. Well, um, do that now so you don't get in trouble. Yeah, that's all right. I like getting in trouble. Oh, gives okay. Them, gives them something to complain about, you know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we just, right now we just hook up the oil heater okay. and leave the generator off. So that way, an hour and a half before the race, we come back out here and we'll do any little changes, prime the oil, you know. Gotcha. Pull tape off, like whatever. Little things we do before the race. So that's an hour and a half before the race starts. So for now. So it, it's 255 right now. Yep. Race starts at six, I think. Something like that. So, so 430 we'll be back here. So until then. We're hanging out. I got no time. I got nothing to do. So oh, okay. we'll find something to do. Cool. We'll walk around. You know, cool. we'll find, we'll find I guess trouble. Xfinity's up right now, it looks like. They get a little practice soon little quick practice session and then they go on track and qualify but their race is tomorrow so are you gonna come ranger racing with us again uh not tomorrow not tomorrow but october i'm coming okay with a vengeance okay yeah it's gonna be bad yeah yeah well there's I, a few of us that are other that are quick too so yeah well jh now, is done doing better yeah but now i actually have time and money so oh. it's gonna be bad for you guys oh yeah, yeah, predictions yeah yeah predictions for the october danger ranger race I guess I might actually, actually have to work on my truck too. Hmm. We'll see. You better cut about 400 pounds out of your truck. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Okay. I'm telling you now. Okay. Okay. I, I know how much of the stuff I've cut out of mine. <laughs> I'm not going to say how much it was, but it's since cruel. the last race. It's, I ha no, I haven't really messed with it much since the last race. Okay. Although I have already pulled the engine out oh. from the oil leak. Oh, was, oil leak. There's no oil in the engine. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so I should probably check that, you know, make sure it still has bearings in it. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried. Okay. Yeah, oof. Throwing the gauntlet down, so I have to go work on my truck some. <laughs> Show. That's it. All right, well, we snuck up inside the hauler for the number seven Spire Motorsports truck. It's a little short. Well, you maybe you're just too yeah. tall. Tro well, actually, interesting See, it works. it works good for me. Trucks, truck haulers have a taller upstairs because they're taller than the cars. Yeah, makes so sense. they make this shorter. So. Yeah, it's even like recessed down, I guess, to try yeah. and. Oh, and it's up top. It is up on top, too. It's like the tires are sunk down. Huh. I mean, it's literally basically this. Yeah. You know, that. So, yeah, I hit my head a lot in here. Cool. But yeah, 
So we have cabinets and doors yeah. everywhere. Probably top secret, super trick stuff uh, we can't see. Not really. Oh, radios. Radios. Can see the radio yeah, fire suits. Yeah. Oh, you nice. Know, lots of fire suits. All your yeah. pit road stuff you gotta yeah. wear. And all these cabinets just have stuff. Motor parts yeah, in this one. Air Draw filters. Body. Yep. Holly, yeah, five, baby. There you go, man. That's it. All right. But yeah, I mean, most of the stuff is just all general parts you might need if something goes wrong. You know, spray paint, chemicals. Gotta have WD-40. Right. And oh, some, yeah. And some slick mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just all kinds of... DeWalt, huh? DeWalt stuff? Yeah. Yeah, huh? yeah. Big batteries, big fans. It all makes good stuff. Spare axles, you know. You mm -hmm. never know. Yeah, because they're all floater stuff, right? Yeah, all full floater. Gotcha. Nine Ford 90s, I'm surprised they're iron. Maybe because they just they change shape less? Like versus you know, aluminum? It's what they've been running since 19 whatever. <laughs> That's what they got. <laughs> Cause you gotta, I'll, I'll fix that later. Because you gotta think, the truck series is stepped down from cup stuff. Yeah. So like Well it's even below Xfinity. Right. Yeah, yeah. So like we get old cup stuff, old Xfinity stuff. I see you looking up. Oh yeah, look at that. You're There's standing under the backup truck. Yeah. Don't show too much of that now. No, I'm kidding, that's a backup. <laughs> She's pretty clean. It look is. at that. All it fancy, is. fancy. Oh, oh, you can't really see because straps are in the way. It's the but. rear end housing is that raw? No, it's painted. Is it? It's, yeah, it's just like a silver, silver. paint. Hmm. Yeah. Got smart people coming through, engineers. Oh, nice. Yeah. We're actually one of the few teams that has females on our team because obviously male dominated sport. Yeah. We got yeah, female sure. engineer and female interior person. Hmm. Slash tire person. Very cool. But yeah. Very cool. You can see like just this little bit, like everything is designed to be aerodynamic. Like super trick. Like obviously there's specs for all this stuff here. Yeah. But even come this way. Like your lead rail right here, uh -huh. that's all flat just to create downforce. Huh. Surprised there's a bolt in here. Wow, you have yeah. to have bolts in it. Well, I mean, Unfortunately, you can't run up no bolts. Yeah, it is. It's cool how everything has been everything considered. Is tough. Yes, toe strap right there. Yeah. Toe strap. yeah. No truck ever in history has ever been flat towed. But at every track we have to have a toe strap. strap. Front and rear? Front and rear. Huh. I've never seen them. Like where's the front never. one? It's it's like, it's hidden. You know, you tape over it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But never, ever once has a truck been flat towed. I like clean race cars. Like, yeah, there's something trick, like how the the rear wheel well is rounded yep. instead of being hard square like yep. we do in the drag car stuff. Oh yeah. Everything is up. designed with a purpose. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. I just like race cars. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, very much so. Well, yeah. This video is gonna be freaking four hours long. That's all right. They like it. Yeah, They're gonna maybe. watch every second and love it. We'll see. I mean, I know everybody was excited to see you again when I said oh, yeah. something about in the little uh, video with uh, the Danger Rangers. I know, so. I'm important. Everybody loves me. <laughs> But yeah, our, don't, don't break your arm. Our truck you driver on the back there, right? Our, whatever. Our truck driver <laughs> Peter hooks us up with all the best snacks. Oh, nice. There's a fridge around the corner up there. So we got nice. food, drinks, shock dino snacks. sitting in there in the corner. Yeah. Every single fancy stuff, nut and bolt you could ever imagine. All very nice. Yeah, that we never use. <laughs> never, never use. I like how everything's labeled. Yep. It, it's all designed to where if you need something in a hurry, you can run in here, grab it, you should know where it's at. Yep. Take off running, fix whatever you need to fix. Very it's cool. Designed very smooth, even, like everything should be good. Like, cool. You know, what I, you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Yep, Pre preparation is key to success, I that's believe. It. That's it, definitely, definitely. definitely. It's one of, my, one of my shticks. Yeah, like you said, shock dino. The important people room. Important stuff? Important well, we won't, we won't mess with them because yeah, yeah. they look like they're doing really important stuff. They are. They do. They do pre-race pull downs and, you know, checking weather and yeah. all that stuff. It's windy. Yes, that's that's my weather my weather deal for today. It's it's very windy, which I can imagine affects these things a lot because it is. trucks trucks and air cup cars are air racing. Like, really? Sometimes the air matters more than the setup does. I can imagine, like, it affected even, like, different qualifying runs differently and could help yep. or hurt you in oh, qualifying. Yeah, yeah so. you get a you get a big tailwind on the back stretch, you'll pick up a couple mile an hour, no problem. Dude. And like when, even when you're watching the race, like here they're not drafting per se. But yeah. like you'll see when they're front and behind each other, like one will pop out just to show a headlight to get the front end downforce on the splitter. 
Like, you'll hear, you might hear them say, show a headlight. And that's all it is, trying to get air on the splitter. Just to Sample. suck the front of the truck down to keep the tire planted? Yep, yep. Makes sense. Yep. It makes sense. All this, all the little tiny details matter. Everything so. matters. Every <laughs> single detail matters. Very cool. Well, thanks yep. for the trip of the hauler and stuff. Yep. I'm excited to be a part of racing. I haven't been to a NASCAR race in probably 15 years. Yep. And nobody gets this kind of access. This yeah. Special. It's pretty I cool. I know stuff. somebody. Somebody important. Somebody like Drew here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I kind of missed the start command, but here we are on pit road. Here's Drew. Oh, oh that was terrible. That was bad. We got to do that again. There we go. <laughs> that was a real bad start, but we got us a radio, and uh, we're gonna get to listen to the Spire Motorsports team trucks. That's kind of awesome. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited just to be here as a fan, like not here working in any capacity. But uh, we just ran into our buddy Justin Nunley who will be announcing for the Freedom 500 again in April. So it's another event that if you guys can get to it, you need to get to it, because it's gonna be awesome. Both the Freedom 500 and then super big burnout show on uh, Saturday and two big concerts. Oh, Cletus is really, uh, really stepping it up on the event promotion stuff and the event, making the events just awesome. So, all right, let's time to go racing. We're gonna throw some clips in here of the actual race, maybe some pit stops. Should be some pretty exciting stuff.
Raja's first win. That's his first win, right? That's his first win, and that means Fire Motorsports has swept the truck So they had a problem on the pit stop where Kyle had to go pass through the pits and that, uh, that took him out of the race, basically. But congrats to Raja. Congrats to the Rajah and Inspire Motorsports. See if we can get to another one of these.